What it do, homies? It's your boy David, and back today we are here with a Patreon request. This time we're checking out Wonderland Indonesia. And I took a look down here in the description, and it looks like this video is taking the inspiration from a piece of history of Nusantara, uh, the Indonesian ar uh, archipelago. Can't spell. I can't talk today uh, to depict the diversity and wonders. This is the dedication as children of our nation in hope of reviving the love for our motherland, Indonesia, on the seventh anniversary of Indonesia's independence. OK, so I actually know nothing about Indonesia. So we about to learn today. Let's go ahead. Shut up and turn it up. Also, I'm not sure how copyright will work with this. So I might have to put text over the video if it gets blocked. Okay, so first thoughts, animation is absolutely gorgeous and everything. I used to I used to teach 3D art and animation. Everything here looks beautiful, all the way down from the lighting um, to the movements of the animals and everything. Everything looks, you know, it's 3D, you know what I mean? But um, it's one of the hard things to do is kind of capture realistic motion, especially when it comes to fantasy. I um, um, uh, not sorry, fantasy animals, but the snake movement looked really, really good. Now the music is is it's it's mixed very well. I really love what it sounds like the use of traditional instruments, but the but the percussion that's going on, the way that it's mixed almost kind of like to the side and in, in, in like like you know the back of your head or like sitting like right here. Beautiful so far. Really getting a an infusion of of, of culture here. Oh, that's beautiful. in a beautiful land which everything in it lived peacefully she spent all her time in the depth of a forest with her eight little friends there was a hidden secret place so magical and dangerous at the same time this is the story where the culture had start and now, let me take you on a journey. So welcome to Wonderland Indonesia, the sacred Nusantara. The production value on this is insane. It's to the point to where it almost feels illegal for me to be watching this for free. The amount of care carefulness 
that that you can see it everywhere. The amount of heart, the amount of patience and determination and careful, you know, picking at everything to make sure everything is just beautiful and cohesive. This is a masterpiece. And I don't say that that often. That's the thing, man. Look at this. These, these, and I'm, I'm not necessarily, I, so, so, you know, I don't want to come off as like ignorant and everything. Um, I'm just going to go on a limb and say that, you know, Northern Indi Indonesia don't necessarily dress like this every day, possibly, because this looks extraordinarily like extravagant, something that you would dress up in on very, very special occasions, like possibly like a wedding or something like that. But this is a type of, type of art or something like this that I would never ever 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 see for the most part here in America unless unless you know somebody said here put it in my face and just showed it to me but to think that all of this I would have just missed out on you know what I mean this is gorgeous <laughs> change. that instrument wow what okay i've seen quite a few instruments in my time but never that the strings are in a cylinder shape oh i need to know the ins and outs as to why that instrument it, it, i won't say exist but that what is that oh i gotta know y'all let me know down in the comments transition like the, the stuff that's happening with the music is just absolutely beautiful from the beginning definitely kind of gave us you know the whole cinematic approach with with some of the traditional instruments and then it untranslated into um you know what it sounds like future based but they didn't they you know they still incorporated those, those those traditional elements where there'd be kind of like the singing style i think at some point we heard a couple of the traditional instruments used in there as well the transitions between the music to make sure that nothing 
nothing inherently pops out too much to take away from this from from this feeling that they have um that they that they that they shown us you know what i mean like everything still sounds coherent even though this is a wildly different genre of music compared to what we heard at the beginning this just keeps being better and better the visuals are stunning What am I watching here? What am I watching? This is almost too much. This is almost this. This is this is where this is it's almost too much to catch everything in like one go. Did, see, see, I know this is a celebration, right? Indonesia's independence, seventy seventh of independence. You know, seventy seventh year, I believe, of end of event. And what I'm seeing here is, in, in, you know, the cultural changes, but also the music changes, how it went from more cinematic and we went straight to future bass. And then we went to, to trap slash hip hop. And then it went straight into uh, what I'm guessing uh, was symphonic metal. Like, <laughs> and we got dragons battling. Yo, it's only been eight minutes and the amount of information that they've been able to give us in eight minutes. Masterpiece. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. <clears throat> I love her tone of her voice.
last part was just absolutely beautiful. So, you know, just, just from a spec speculation standpoint, um, the guy with the, what looked like a trident or whatnot. So, you know, I see that, you know, there's a whole lot of, um, and the thing is that I don't want, like, like, I don't want to be disrespectful, but you know, cause I'm, I'm not sure like what's cultural and what, you know, what's tradition and everything. Uh, so the dragons and everything, the, it, it, it's almost like, it's just, you know, symbolizing right where indonesia was talking about you know the fallen hero the people who gave their lives for indonesia's independence so if we kind of look at that dragon as like a symbol of them wrestling themselves away from the oppression and everything you know to gain their independence after they did that <clears throat> sorry they show like this this bird or this eagle or something like that just coming out of of out of um, you know, petrification, if you will. And it started flying around, almost kind of symbolized that the freedom is here, right? You're no longer being held down. You know, you're no longer held in praise. You're free to do what you need to do. And then that's accompanied by the music and given those type of guitar, so, uh, the, the guitar tones and just the structure of the song, that's the type of music that I would necessarily hear. You know, I would hear those type of sounds in like Christian music. You know what I mean? So now I'm not saying that this is Christian music. It's just, it gives you that sense of of revival, if you will, or, um, you know, like, like overcoming. I, I love that. I'm like, I'm literally getting chills with what's going on here. One day at another time, a girl will unearth the civilization that has been buried deep for so long. So she was reading a book. See you on that day. Oh, oh, okay, and it's and it's done. And I think the rest of these are credits. Read, directed, written, Linka. You support it. Yo, bravo to everybody on here. Good stuff on the editing. The costume design has been absolutely beautiful. Uh, poo, 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 GL, poo, poo, GLS. Beautiful vocalists. Here we have the rappers. We'll have to check them out. prop this is what i was looking for the art and prop director just so i could see the names and everything see who who's responsible for for all these beautiful visuals you know um i have two um main importances uh whenever i'm doing reactions right um sometimes there's a focus on the lyrics but for the most part most of my mind goes straight to the music and then it's the visuals and then it's the lyrics those are that's just how my mind works uh so naturally i want to pay a little bit more attention to those type of stuff so big props to these to, to these guys right here i mean big props to everybody but as far as my interest goes this was good work makeup artist since camera hair so yeah, I'm pretty sure that list goes on and on and on really, really long. And that makes sense, right? With dancers, yeah, if something, uh, a project this big would need all that type of support, yo, this was, this was beautiful. I didn't necessarily know what I was getting myself into. Generally, I don't, whenever it's a Patreon request, sometimes well, it's this specific Patreon leaves information and everything, and he hasn't steered me wrong yet, but this has been a wonderful wonderful experience um if you guys are interested in me doing a reaction to part one because i'm pretty sure there's information that i'm missing out on y'all let me know that down in the comments all right that's the end of this video if you enjoyed the content leave a like and subscribe dave's out